Libras, how you doing? Hope everybody's doing good. So let's see what's going to pop in with my Libras. But you won't be taking over the tarot from now on, okay? I'm a gypsy from time to time. You know, when I said I was doing Libra, I started getting like this really, really like, how can I explain it? Like butterflies in my stomach, but it was moving to my chest. It still is. To my stomach, to my chest, to my stomach. It's almost like a feeling of, not anxiety, I wouldn't say anxiety. I would say like a feeling of like, I don't know what to do. Like stuck in some type of way. Like stuck, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to say. I even feel like my voice is trembling. And, you know, like... I feel, ner I feel nervousness. I feel like things, oh God, I feel like a, t a tingling sensation down my back. Um, yeah, I'm picking the up from, this, oh, somebody's stuck here because I'm getting stuck very much. Somebody is very stuck when it comes to something here. We're going to find out what it is, but somebody's very stuck here. And I feel like if you're feeling that type of, you know, butterflies in your stomach and it's going up to your chest and you don't know what it feels like and it's like you don't know what to do and it's like i don't know it's like a, i feel like there's an energy here overthinking too much hold on a minute oh chum what is coming out here uh what is the overall message here for libra's end up what else Libras. This is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Because I always forget. Let me see what else is coming out here for my Libras. Right on my chest. The King of Swords. <sighs> Libras. I feel like. You know, I feel like you were moving forward to something. I feel like, you know, I feel like with this energy, I feel like you are moving forward. I feel like you, you're, you're doing yourself. I feel like you're building stability. I feel like you're worried about your money, your finances, you know, building whatever you're doing. If you're working, you know, hustling, you know, careers, whatever it is. But somebody here is very stuck. I feel like there was something here that you were going to move forward to. It might have been work, abundance, but I feel like it's something that has to do with, us. Uh, oh my God, somebody's very stuck here where they're getting me stuck. Somebody here, I said it, the two of swords, somebody here's very stuck, not knowing what to do. Somebody here is very, very hurt and stuck in their emotions, in their feelings, not knowing what to do, you feel me? Not knowing how to move forward, and I feel like there's an energy here of control, like a person that's very controlling, demanding doesn't let you move forward you're stuck you don't know what to do you don't know how to go forward backwards wherever to go tiene que echar para adelante para ir para adelante o quedarte ahí is what she's saying you have to move forward or you have to stay right there that's what she's saying so somebody here is stuck they don't know what to do I feel like whatever Libra here is stuck you don't know what to do you don't know how to move forward you don't know how to go backwards you don't have to stay stuck right there I don't know what's going on here but we're going to find out because the energy is so strong that she's telling me either you move forward or you stay stuck. Is what she's saying. What came out? Oh. Yeah. Cancer energy. Pisces. Cancer Scorpio. <sighs> Libras. Something's going on here. And it's a soulmate connection. I feel like somebody here is very controlling here. With the King of Swords is like, you know, authority, you know, figure. Somebody that could make things happen. Somebody that can move forward. Which in Libra, that is you. You can move forward. You can make things happen. You know, you're very stable when it comes to moving forward. Like an authority figure. You can make things happen. But I feel like somebody here is taking that away from you in some type of way. And it could be a soulmate connection here. That's going wrong or that went wrong. 
Somebody here is very in love, but somebody here is stuck. Somebody here is moving forward their abundance. And every time they try to move forward, they get stuck. Every time they try to like build something or manifest something or get something or move forward to get something, it's like somebody gets stuck here. At some point, something was happening here with somebody. And you put a stop to it and you started moving forward. Or this person put a stop to it and started moving forward. But there's a connection here that you're holding very strong inside your heart. Let me see. What else are my um, Libras? Virgo energy, hermit mode, the emperor. Somebody here is standing in their emperor energy. Listen, Libras. Whatever's going on here, there's a lot of romance going on here. Okay, somebody here is a soulmate connection. Somebody here has a contract that was signed. Somebody here has a lot of, a lot of, oh God. Somebody here is very, very, very stuck. Okay, you need to move forward or just stay there because she's saying it very clearly. Somebody here doesn't want to move forward, backwards, left or right. Meaning somebody here does not know what to decide. I could be picking on you, or I could be picking up on this person here. But somebody here is very stuck. Somebody here is on hermit mode. Somebody here is not talking. Somebody here is overthinking. Somebody doesn't know what to say. It's like analyzing everything. They're in full power and they're full control. It's like you need to stand up like this emperor and keep on moving. This is Aries energy. You need to keep on moving. Stand in your power and move forward because you got a lot of love inside of you to give. You're a person that's a hopelessly romantic is what I'm picking up. You're hopelessly romantic. Is you're a person that you love to love. You love to give love. You love to receive love, but you mostly love to give a lot of love is what I'm picking up here. And there's somebody here that's very into their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions that is not giving. You're not giving or somebody's not giving here. It's like I feel like somebody's moving very slowly here with a lot of secrets. You know, a person that is holding a lot of secrets, a person that's being truthful, a person that's not saying things correctly, a person that's lying a lot, a person that, you know, when they say something, you have to question it and you might be right with your intuition. I feel like a person here says things and actually they're doing something else. I feel like there's connections here or messages or phone calls or whatever it is, even if you're living with a person or you were, I feel like they were in full control of your energy i feel like they were you know in full control in a way like it's my way or no way i feel like you know there was nothing you could get out of this person not a damn thing you can get out of this person if she's saying but still there's a lot of crying here i'm seeing a lot of crying here a person that's very stuck and does not know what to do There's somebody here that wants to have full power and control over you. In your life, in your love life, in your in your movements, in your abundance, in the way you're moving, in the way that you are, the way that you're taking care of yourself, the way that you're looking, the way that you're feeling. You know, you need to keep on moving forward, is what she's saying. Because some of you here, Libras, are doing yourself. You're manifesting abundance. You're moving forward. You're doing yourself. You've met already someone that's probably standing like an emperor with you. You feel me? And I feel like you're holding love very strong inside your heart for that one person. That's going to come your way. <clears throat> My bad. And you want this to be a soulmate. You want this to be a person of a lifetime. Not a come and go is what I'm picking up here. But somebody here is thinking too much. And they're in their head too much. But somebody here is manifesting a lot of control towards your way. So if you're feeling stuck and you're feeling like you can't move, you need to move. Because they're manifesting that control. You can only manifest yourself. You feel me? Somebody can manifest a lot of things towards you. Yes, they can. They could do spells, they could do voodoo, they could do witchcraft. They can manifest your thoughts. They can manifest the way you move. They can manifest everything they want to manifest with their thoughts. Mind control is very strong. And I feel like somebody here is trying to mind control you and manifest the way that you move, you want to move, what you want to do, who you meet, who you move forward to, while they're doing themselves and keeping you stuck. They want control. 
I feel like somebody wants to be with you here, but they're overthinking it because they want control and they know they can't control you. Somebody here cannot control you. Aquí no se puede controlar a nadie. She's saying here you cannot control nobody. So she's saying Libras, somebody here cannot control you, and it's bothering this person. They want full control, but they cannot control you. This person, it could be. Oh my God, hold on a minute. What else here for my Libras? I cannot make this shit up because I shuffle or not. Manifesting. I cannot make this shit up. Manifesting a lot of things, Joy. I feel like this person in you at some point thought you were twin flames or a soul connection, but I'm picking up here a very strong soul connection. Very strong soul connection here. You feel me? But it's not even about the soul connection. It's about two people learning how to be with each other. How to, you know, open up to each other. How to stand together as an emperor and an empress. Not manifesting someone, not, not controlling somebody for that person not to move forward. Because if somebody's stuck here and they want to make you stuck, uh-uh. It don't work that way. You need to keep moving forward. If they want to be stuck... Because they're not doing nothing. And they're manifesting their money. While they're waiting for someone to come in, it cannot be you, she's saying. You need to move forward. Something here was going to be done. Look at the wheel, Look at the wheel on the bottom of the deck. I don't even see it. But something here was going to be done and moving forward here. And something stopped for some reason. I feel there's a lot of influences around somebody here. I feel there's a lot of people around a person here. Like influencing, like, you know, I have to look good. I have to, you know, make myself stand like the emperor. I got to look good. I have to have a reputation. I got to have pride. You know, they can't see me in no type of way. You know, I feel like a person here at night mostly when nobody's looking just sits there and, you know, just thinks. And then they ask, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm thinking. You feel me? It's like a person is very stuck here in the energy. And I feel like you're moving forward, Libras. You're moving forward. But there's somebody here that's hiding a lot of secrets here. I feel there's a, soul com uh, a soulmate connection here that was going to be established. And it did it. And if you're missing somebody here and you're waiting for somebody here, Libras, they're trying to manifest you back. This person is doing a lot of thinking about coming back to you. So if Libras, because I see a lot of love here, man. I can't even much sugarcoat the shit. You feel me? There's a lot of love here. You feel me? There's a lot of control here too. Like it's either love or control. You feel me? You can't do both. You can't do love and control together. You feel me? And she's saying you cannot let nobody control you. It's an it's a evil. Oh, it's an evil. Why would I say evil? Well, maybe because I was going to say equal. But it's never a, con a, a coincidence to me. It's an evil. Here I go again, evil. Something's evil around here. Whoever this person's dealing with, or they're dealing with, it's just people that don't give a fuck. People that don't care about somebody moving forward. People that don't care about seeing you happy, or this person happy, or whatever the hell's going on here. If you're in a marriage here, they don't want to see you happy. Because evil twice just cannot come out of my mouth. I'm sorry. Somebody's looking away here. They don't know what to do. Somebody here does not know what to do. If to move forward or to stay. But somebody's manifesting a lot of things here. There could be even evil eyes thrown here. There could be malice. There could be things done here when it comes to magic to try to not let you move forward. There could be people doing it for this person. Not to get your happiness because they don't want to see you happy. Because they want full control of you. When... As in fact, you're moving forward is what I'm seeing here. But somebody here is missing somebody. And somebody here is stuck waiting for somebody, Libras. Some of you Libras are waiting for somebody here. She's saying you cannot wait. You got to move forward. You have to move. And stand in your emperor energy and your empress energy, male or female. And keep on moving. And manifest in your life what you need to manifest like an emperor. And walk it, talk it, move it. Show it, live it, and don't let nobody stop you. You feel me? Because they're manifesting. A lot of people here have envy for you. 
It's not only a person you're dealing with here. There's a lot of envious people here that don't want you to be happy. They don't want your success. They don't want love for you. You know, I feel like some of you overthink too much. You feel me? And it's not even a normal overthinking. It's just like a, a very overthinking where you can't stop overthinking. How about your own power? She's saying, why are you questioning your own power? Why are you questioning your own abilities? Why are you questioning the things you can manifest and you can do moving forward? To whatever it is. Abundance, love, whatever it is you, you want to do here. Why are you questioning your own abilities when you have them there? You can move forward. Libras, you are justice. You are karma. You are balance. You feel me? But somebody here is not letting you move forward. And they're not going to let you move forward. Somebody here is watching you very, very closely. And they pretend like they don't know nothing. They pretend like they don't know what the fuck you're doing. They pretend like when, they, they pretend like they don't know a damn thing. When, in fact, they know everything that you're doing. So whoever here you were dealing with, or whoever you're dealing with, or whoever's coming into your energy, they are watching you very closely. Not giving a fuck. They're watching your every move to see what you're doing. They're trying to analyze you by putting pieces together that they don't even know what you're doing. You could be, you know, you could be doing something right here and just whatever. You could be joking around, even posting anything or saying anything in a message. And they're taking a whole nother route and thinking something else. I feel like whoever here... You know, it was in a marriage or in a commitment or is waiting for somebody. You feel me? Or had a fallout and you just, you're very in love. It was a soulmate connection. This person is like very controlling when it comes to you. Like they don't want to see you with anybody, Libra. Only them. But again, some they're stuck. Somebody's stuck here. They don't move. They don't do nothing. You can't move forward, but they don't move forward either. But they're moving forward other places. I'm picking up here escort services. I'm picking up here um, people that get paid here and give money. I'm picking up a lot of fuckery here. Even with these cards that you see, I'm picking up. Ochoon tells me everything. This is how you've been, Libra, for a very long time. Carrying everybody's motherfucking burdens in your back. You need to let everybody's burdens go and carry your own. Because with your own is enough. You feel me? Tú no puedes cargar lo de todo mundo arriba. You cannot carry everybody's burdens. You got to carry your own. Because your your own is already causing you enough burdens. Okay? To be carrying her burdens, his burdens, whoever's burdens, and then, you know, all this fuckery that I see here. Look, there was one on the floor. I didn't even see it. Aquarius energy. Secrets. Masks. Hidden lies. Moving forward slowly into somebody's energy here. You know, there's a person here that deals with a person that you're dealing with here that's very influenced on this person. So whoever you're dealing with here hangs around with somebody or chills with somebody or knows with somebody or works with somebody. Take it how it hits you. That influences this person. It's like they look up to this person. And whatever this person does, and they might not even notice it, or they do, they do whatever that person does. Whatever influence that person has, this person's picking it up. And that's not a good thing. Because I feel like whoever here is influencing somebody, they're doing their own thing. They're doing their own life with their own person. You feel me? Kids, if they got kids, whatever's going on. But they fuck around. But there's a lot of player energy around this um, This energy right here, I'm picking up a lot of player energy. So there's a lot of things going on here with escort services, you know, traveling, seeing women and other um, and men in other places, like in distances. A lot of things. And whoever you're dealing with is falling for this shit. I'm not saying, hold up. I'm not saying that, you feel me, like that person's at fault, whoever they're dealing with. You don't put a gun in nobody's head and make nobody do nothing. You feel me? Whoever does whatever, you know, they do it because they want to. But they following somebody here and they're not even noticing. They probably are. Somebody here is strongly, but Libras, some of you are standing in your emperor 
energy, male or female, you're moving forward, you're giving love to yourself, you're doing yourself. It's like you're manifesting beautiful things for yourself, you're moving with abundance, you are going to get love coming in, okay? But you're thinking very long and hard, like, who am I going to let in? Because I'm tired of this bullshit, you feel me? It's like, I'm feeling mostly like a resting energy, like you're trying to rest the most you can for some reason. Ochum, what is coming towards Libra's way? What else? Beautiful. Look, whoever this is came out on the fence. The lover's card again came out on the fence. So two lovers here have gone wrong. Two lovers here love each other to death. But something's not working here. But the Ten of Pentacles came out. Abundance, stability, success. Whatever you want, whatever you need is in your hands. You got to move to go get it. Because if you stay stuck in the energy of a person that you love, or you feel like they're your soul connection, but they're not moving, all they do is think and not move and not talk, and stuck and making you stuck, you're not going to get to that Ten of Pentacles. That's Virgo energy. And Gemini, you're going to get stuck there. But you are moving forward with a lot of love. A lot of your Libras are manifesting beautiful things for yourself. Mostly when it comes to stability. Stability is very important to you. For some reason, if you see um, butterflies, it doesn't matter what color it is. She's telling me, cualquier color, any color of butterflies. That's a confirmation. You'll receive money right after that, she's telling me. If you're seeing butterflies, if you see butterflies, wait for it. Money's going to come in out of nowhere. Let me see. What else? Put on the fence. The page of wands. Listen. Somebody here wants to offer you something, but you got to be careful. Because somebody here is manifesting, you know, and this person can come in real slow. And as slow as they come in, they can move real quick. You feel me? I hope you're understanding me because she's giving me like a whole thing here. But somebody wants to, somebody wants to come your way. But I feel like they're confused in some type of way. It's like they manifest you, but then again, they stop manifesting you. She's saying this is not right. You got to keep moving forward and do your own self. Because you're coming into a lot of success, a lot of stability. You're going to come into a lot of abundance this year. You have a lot of love inside of you to give. You've given a lot of love and they betrayed you too many times. Even standing firm and stable for everybody. Because I feel like a lot of you Libras here have stood up, stir, you know, oh God. Firm and stable and have built for you, your person, their family, and everybody else. You feel me? Everybody and their mama is what I'm going to say. There's Aquarius energy. I'm going to say it. Aries. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You feel me? It could be anybody. The signs don't mean nothing to me. I say it because you like to hear the signs, but it don't mean nothing to me. But there's a lot of things going on here with love. Two people here belong together, but somebody's stuck. And they won't move. They think too much and they have you stuck. You need to keep on moving forward. Because you have somebody that loves you. You got somebody else that loves you. You got somebody else that loves you. That wants to be with you. That wants to give you love. That wants to give you that ten of pentacles. That wants to give you abundance and stability. That wants to build with you. That's trying to manifest you. But you're not moving forward. Because you're stuck in this energy here. If you love a person. And they're not opening up. Either they open up, you open up, or you both stay quiet and you move forward. You cannot stay in this energy at all. At all. But you guys are moving forward for some of y'all. And I see that somebody here either already met somebody or you got a connection going on here. And the chemistry is very strong. And I feel like 
this person might be scared because they've been through a lot of shit too. But I feel like they want to build. You feel me? And I feel like if you met somebody right now, the chemistry is strong. I feel like, you know, you might have a long-term relationship with this person. If somebody's coming in new or came new into your life. But Libras, a lot of your Libras are getting new love coming in. Somebody here wants to manifest with you. But somebody here is stuck in the past. Somebody here loves somebody very much. This is so, you know, and sometimes this shit happens and it's like you don't understand it. Why the fuck? And why that's not me? You know, you know what? I left a long time ago, but then you think about the person and it's like, it's a soulmate connection, people. There was contract signed here before you were, came into this earth. So it's like there's always going to be that connection. Do you feel me? You don't have to be with the person. But it's destined to be together. You're destined to be together. But somebody can't control you when you know that when they know they can have you. How do you control somebody when you know you can have them? How do you could try to control somebody's mind, thoughts, movements, whatever, when they know they can have you? How do you control that? When all you could do is walk up to a person and say, look, this is what I want. This is what I want to build with you. I feel like whoever here is dealing with somebody, this person deals a lot with money. A lot with money. This person might have been ripped off for money or you might have been ripped off for money, but somebody here deals a lot with money. And be careful because they might be, you know, playing with your money or somebody's money's been played with here. Let me see. Ochum, what is here for um, my divas? What is the message here for my Libras? Yellow, give me my Somebody here is very nervous when they talk. They can't speak correctly. It's like an energy that, it's like, sometimes you break down, but it's like, I'm feeling like a trembling sensation when you talk. I still feel that thing in my chest. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. I cannot make this shit up. My favorite phone with you need to make clear decisions on what you want. The quicker you make your decisions, the more clear they're going to get to you. Okay? You need to know what you want so it can come to you. So whoever here is stuck, whoever here can't move, you need to talk, move, walk, whatever it is. If not, keep on moving. Clear this, Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if you want a person, or you're in love with a person, or you want to manifest something, you need to make clear decisions on what you want. Exactly what she said. You can't stay stuck. Because somebody here is severely stuck. Let me see. Yeah, they're barking at the cats. Oh, Chung, is there a message here for my Libras? Is there a message here for my Libras? Whoa. My credit phone is wow. Okay, she gave me three. I'm going to take them because I don't put nothing back that um, Ochoon gives me or any of my guys. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that I will work out for the best. So whatever you're going through here with somebody, give each other some space. Give it some time. It'll work out however it's going to work out. Trust, have faith is what you need to do. But if you need to move forward, move forward. But having faith, remember, you can have faith on that candle right there. And that candle is going to work its magic every day for you. You feel me? It's about faith. So trust, okay? Sacred union, honor, and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So whatever it is, if you're going through a, a you know... A father right now with somebody. You're married. Whatever you're going through right now. Whatever it is that's happening here with two people. Whatever it is. It's a sacred union. You have to treasure your relationship. You have to treasure your person. They have to treasure you. It has to be sacred. You feel me? And I feel like there's something here going on. Where somebody's not doing that. Somebody's not honoring a relationship here. Somebody's not being true. You know, and they're not being true to who they are and what they want. 
You feel me? It will come soon. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. I cannot say anything else about this reading. Wow. You could do anything, Deepas. You could be whoever you want to be. You feel me? It's all in your heart and your mind. And I will go more for the, for the heart than the mind. Because the mind plays tricks on you. But so does the heart. But the heart is the gateway to your soul. Soul connections, when they connect, they connect to the heart. Through the chemistry. Through the bond. There's a big, there's something big going on here with two people. Okay, I was not going to, um, let me see. I haven't finished with the musical cards, but I'm going to give you a song. Let me see. What you what song is here for um, Libras. And I don't care if you don't listen to the song. I don't care if you have never heard the song. I don't care if you know the song and you know all the words to the song. Please, I am telling y'all, and I'm going to tell you every time. When I throw a song out here, whatever I put, go back, even if you know the lyrics, look at the lyrics, so there'll be something there that you missed, or that you know, and then boom, right there, you get it, right there, right now, you feel me, and you need to hear it, so let's see, what you what song is here for my ears? that's a lot of songs, well, I am not going to put them back, Beyonce, Flaws and All. One of my all-time favorite songs from Beyonce. And I'm not a Beyonce lover. So you got Beyonce, Flaws and All. You got Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey. You got Keith Sweat, Nobody. <laughs> That's one of my, listen, whoever don't, whoever don't like Keith Sweat, I'm sorry. But I'm telling you, if you don't know these songs, I don't care if it's country, I don't care if it's r and I don't care what it is. Listen to it. There's something in there for you. And you got Boys to Men. A song for Mama. So if you lost a mom. Or you have a mother. Appreciate your mother to the very end. Because you know where your mom is gone. But I'm mostly picking. And that's why I'm crying. Because she's telling me somebody. A lot of you have lost moms here. Play for your mom. Boys to men. A song for mama. Okay? Wow, and I'm a Libra. I'm going to play that for you, mom. Wow. I'm sorry, but I'm a Libra. And I know some of you have lost your mom. So it's hard. This could be your first, middle, last in this show. Even nicknames, okay? Whoever you're dealing with. Whatever you're thinking about. Even your mom's on this show. It doesn't matter. You got an I, which could also be an H. You got an E. You got a P. You got a B. You got an E. You got another E. You got an O. You got an N, which could also be a Z. You got another E. You got four E's on the table. So E is very significant here. Another E, that's four E's. You got a J. You got an S. You got a D. You got an F. And you got an A. No, you got five E's on the table. So E's is very significant, very significant in this reading, okay? That's the only doubles you got is E's. You got five E's. So I'm going to flip two E's first, see what I can get you. You got an L. And you got another D. Okay, I'm going to flip these two E's and see what I can get you. You got an N, another N that could also be a Z. You got two already. And you got a T. All right, so I'm going to flip this N, which is also a Z because you got doubles. I'm going to flip this T and we're done. 
You got an O. Double O. So O significant here. And you got another E. This double E or whatever these E's are, are significant. I'm going to flip them just to go. Because I like to give a lot of um. You got an O. This O is very significant here. I don't know if somebody got double O or it's, I don't know. Or you got another T. All right, Libras. I love you all. I wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.